name is Delilah. Welcome to Star Sea Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. You are returning galactic veteran. Thank you so much. Every like, every share, every, every subscribe, every comment helps me, a single mompreneur, entertain you as well as grow right along with you and pursue our collective mission of raising Earth's vibration. So thanks. This is going to be an elemental reading for the element of earth okay so we're going to pull some oracles in regards to the earth energy and then we're going to get surgical with all three signs okay thank you for joining us today at star c direct here we go heavenly father please give me clear and precise messages as i divinate for the element of earth protect my energy as i give clear and precise channel messages thank you holy spirit Earth signs. Let's see what we have going on. All right. <clears throat> you have 33. The measureless and the immeasurable. Time. Okay? Time. Which is very interesting because the earth element is represented by pentacles in the Rider Waite Tarot. And the pentacles represent not only abundance or finances, but they also represent time. So I'm real interested to see what comes out for you. We're going to go ahead and read the ex excerpt, excuse me, from the prophet oracle to see what this message in detail is trying to tell you. Okay? Time. Of time you would make a stream upon whose bank you would sit and watch its flowing. Yet the timeless in you is aware of life's timelessness and knows that yesterday is but today's memory and tomorrow is today's dream. And that which sings and contemplates in you is still dwelling within the bounds of that first moment which scattered the stars into space. Who among you does not feel that his power to love is boundless? Mm, beautiful, beautiful words from Khalil himself, okay? Thank you, Khalil, by the way. All right, so the measureless and the immeasurable earth signs. Feeling timeless and yet bound by time okay mm. one card please holy spirit for the element of earth towards virgo capricorn please measure this measurable we must ask if our desires to feel safe and accepted are in fact enslaving us to popular opinion and to boredom, okay? You may be feeling like you spend a lot of time trying to be a people pleaser, earth signs, okay? Worried about what other people think, okay? What I'm thinking already from this clear message and blatant message from my spirit guides from the Most High is you're feeling enslaved to this constant pull to, you know, keep up with the joneses okay and you know take that with a grain of salt herb signs this may or may not resonate all the way with you okay maybe you like keeping up with the joneses maybe you like a good healthy competition who doesn't herb signs but let me tell you something it gets boring after a while okay it gets boring because you're realizing now it's like what are you really getting out of it debt, stress, and boredom, you're bored. You're looking for something else to spend your time on. It's like you're putting all this energy into trying to one-up someone, or maybe this is someone you're dealing with, and you just feel like it's a waste of time, all right? It doesn't even measure up to 
the capabilities of what you're able to express on a day-to-day -day basis. You also may be feeling the, re the need to do this to feel accepted on some kind of light, but you're realizing now that you will still be accepted whether you stick your foot out in front of the next person or not. I just feel like there's a, an enlightenment happening for the earth signs that really has you reassessing a situation and looking at it differently, okay? You have responsibility. Sorry. You have responsibility, earth signs. And you have calm. Breathe, heal your tired body, and allow your spirit to find peace. Without harmony, your healing journey will take much longer. Become discriminate about the people you choose to help. There are too many people in your life who don't take responsibility for themselves and instead rely on you to sort it out for them, okay? Strength at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with a Leo energy. You also had the number 33 come out, deriving to the number 6, okay? 33 is also the number of the, three is the number of the Ascendant Masters. But 33 is also a master number, okay? So you could be dealing with someone with a life path that is a master number. It doesn't have to be 33. It could be 11 or 22 as well. I know other people resonate with higher master numbers, but I only acknowledge the proven ones, okay? <clears throat> so in regards to this message, Earth Science, what I'm getting is that there's a lot of people that may be harping on you or pressuring you to um, take responsibility for something that you personally feel like is not your responsibility, okay? This could be a family or friend dynamic. I'm also getting that um, you may be doing all this to feel safe and, safe and accepted by a group of people, but you're realizing by having to go through the motions of doing this is actually making you feel enslaved to the motions of doing it, okay? Just the idea of it, okay? And um, you may be doing it to show face or um, try to gain some kind of popularity or good perspective from others, but you're realizing that this facade can only last for so long because what I'm getting directly from this energy is you could care less about these people, okay? And they could feel it too, Earth Signs. Sorry to tell you, but, you know, it's it's definitely detectable, okay? You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. All right, so let's start off with Capricorn. Capricorn. There is a necessity to remain calm, right? Don't feel pressured, okay? You may feel like someone is trying to put all this responsibility on you that you feel like is not your responsibility. Maybe you did this out the kindness of your heart, okay? Whatever that situation is for you, okay? You, be, you could be dealing with an air sign or an, a fellow earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As we cut the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, okay, Capricorn? So you could definitely be dealing with a miser. You could be dealing with someone who has you concerned or up in your head or worried about what you're holding, okay? Or maybe you're worried about what they're holding. Take whichever side resonates. This person may be worried now due to some kind of financial constraint or whether that was voluntary or involuntary um this person is definitely all up in their head about a particular situation regarding you okay and maybe not giving you something that is rightfully yours okay capricorn mm. or this could be you cap you take whichever shoe fits for you okay let's pull three on it Okay, with the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Lovers, you could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign or an Air sign, okay, or someone who has it very strongly aspected in the chart, okay? This may also have something to do with a contract. I know a lot of people read the Lovers as the Twin Flame card or a physical relationship, 
But in regards to this, with pentacles coming out twice, this may also speak of some kind of contract, okay? This could speak of um, some kind of partnership that possibly you have a new opportunity in, but um, you may be concerned about what is going to be required in said contract, okay? Maybe this has something to do with a prenup is what I'm hearing clear audiently. This may also have something to do with a mixing of families, okay? A mixing of families. I'm also getting that um, this may require more responsibility of you, possibly a responsibility you're not ready for, okay? This may also speak about a passionate, me a passionate message um, coming in for you or a desire to be brave in a particular situation regarding time, possibly finding time to build on this connection or partnership, okay? Maybe in the past you didn't because you felt that it was going to close you in or make you feel like you have to act or be a certain way in regards to staying um, faithful to your word or promise in regards to this connection, okay? But you're realizing now that you need to be brave in this new opportunity, okay? Someone may be offering something to you or you may be offering something to this person in regards to this, but it's going to be <clears throat> based, it's going to be very much based off of the excitement for you because you feel like not all money is good money, Capricorn. And at this point in the game, can you even trust these people or this person that are involved, right? That's kind of building off of the energy that we, <clears throat> that I channeled early this morning, okay? Interesting. Very strong Capricorn, whoever this energy is resonating with, all right? Virgo. Virgo, as I cut the deck, Virgo, we have the four wands and death, okay? So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio, all right? This also signifies an ending to a contract of some sort, or possibly, I'm hearing um, clairaudiently, Virgo, the party's over, okay? So I don't know if maybe you felt responsible or you felt the need to keep some kind of situation going on behind the scenes, but you're realizing now that time is up and you may want to pull out all together in regards to this situation because um, it's causing you stress. Ultimately, with the calm card coming out and reassuring you to breathe, heal your tired body, and allow your spirit to find peace, you haven't been at peace in this particular situation. And it could have been directly due to the popular opinion of third parties. And really, at this point in the party, the party's over, Virgo. And now, you may be bored with the whole situation altogether. You may be looking back at it like, why did I even give it that much energy? Okay, hindsight's twenty twenty Virgo. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Moon. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Piscean, or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn like yourself. You patiently waited for something to come in, and you're realizing now that um, a decision had to be made, okay? Possibly in secret regarding this situation. You knew that you were waiting a long time, but possibly because you had to wait so long, you had to make the executive decision to move forward, possibly in secret. You may also be revealing a said decision in regards to this, okay? Spirit is giving you this message because you're feeling like you don't want to be held reliable or responsible for this person or situation anymore. It has caused you stress <clears throat> trying to defend or keep your emotion um, keep your emotions out of it right so you had to make a head over heart decision in regards to this person because you knew that if you continued on in the cycle that you were going it was never going to end okay and at this point virgo you're just trying to find peace within yourself um 
and continue doing your own personal healing journey because to be quite honest Virgo you can't change people and maybe that's what you try to do in this situation trying to be patient in hoping that someone will change but you know sometimes Virgo you just have to accept that people are stuck in their ways all right Now, Taurus, Taurus, in regards to this particular situation, time is running out, okay? And you may have been spending a lot of time going back and forth in your head in regards to what matters more to you, what other people think or what you think. What you know to be right what others think is right okay mm. as we cut the deck Taurus we have the three of cups and the seven of swords you could be dealing with a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio or you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius there is definitely some sneaky ass shit going on Taurus okay I don't know if that's on your accord or that's on the accord of another possibly a third party energy Okay, possibly a water sign or an air sign. We're going to see what comes out for you. You may be realizing now that you're getting bored trying to keep up with appearances is also what I'm hearing. Because the reality of the situation is nobody's happy in this dynamic. Whether this is a, a family concern, a relationship romantically, or a professional connection, or, you know, a friend. You feel like... You're only there because of the responsibilities required of you. Children may be involved, but you're just feeling like, you know, at this point, you just want to feel safe and accepted, and you're not getting that energy in the dynamic that you're currently in. It's causing you stress. It's causing you to possibly entertain other energies because you're bored. You're bored, and you need something... You need something that's going to keep your attention, Taurus. Mm. Something's going to be said, Taurus, that's going to trigger you in regards to this particular situation. And you're going to realize that there's a different way to carry out your responsibility without sacrificing the time that you need separate from the situation to do your healing, okay? Okay. This may also be a message from the divine when the star card comes out. Um, you may be getting syncs and synchronicities in regards to this. You may also be getting visions with the three of wands. Okay, visions on the way to see forward in a situation. Somebody is going to say something very testy, whether this is you, Taurus, or someone else involved, that is really going to highlight the true nature of why they're even here or why they are remaining in a codependent energy okay towards you this could be due to something that was said i know a lot of people will read the knight of swords as something different but this is definitely a gossip card to me okay somebody whether this is you taurus or someone else said some real fucked up shit about someone else possibly an aquarius or a fire sign and this got back to them and now you're realizing that this is not only enslaving you in some kind of cycle to try to make up for it it's like the damage was done and it was done so dirty that no matter what you do you just feel like you can't get rid of this guilt okay now i don't know that's for a small group of tauruses that actually want to do the healing um you know the first step is realizing that you have a problem okay i don't know what that problem is taurus you you tell me but um the measureless and the immeasurable, you know that, you know, on some accord, there's plenty of time. And on other accords, there's only so much time left. You're really at a point in your journey spiritually, Taurus, that you're trying to get more intricate about what you share your energy for and with who, okay? And what you used to take responsibility for in the past you may not be doing so now because you're realizing that you need to put that energy into yourself right now so you can show up and be a better version of yourself for you for your immediate responsibilities okay 
maybe you put friends and status and everything else above your family okay whether that is your your husband your wife your children your extended children if you have blended families those need to take precedence over whatever all this other you know glitz and glamour is okay but again i don't know your story just take what resonates and leave the rest okay there's definitely healing needed here and you foresee the direction you need to go to heal a particular situation but it's going to require you to stop doing this, Taurus. You got to control your mouth because your mouth is causing you to have problems and stress. Okay? All right. So we're going to pull a chakra for the earth signs to see overall the message that would be conducive to all three of you. Right? Mm. And Spirit says, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, y'all need to have a heart, okay, with the fourth chakra. Acceptance of who you are. It's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love. I accept myself the way I am, and I remind myself that I cannot feel better about life than how I feel about myself. I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I honor what my body is asking for, and if I am unsure, I will ask myself, what can I do to be healthier and more balanced than I am now? I dwell upon all that is right in my life, not what is wrong, and I have gratitude. I accept my life as it is now, and I move forwards from here. Absolutely. Because what I'm getting here is there are a group of earth signs that are so worried about being accepted by other people. Or maybe they project this insecurity of not accepting their self by tearing down other people. Not realizing that other people who are spiritually in tune see this as insecurity. See this as you needing to do your own spiritual healing. Because you don't feel good about yourself unless you have the opportunity to talk shit about someone else. And, you know, the mature, wise person peering upon that energy will see clear as day that you need some shadow work. You need to do the healing work because you're too worried about gaining popularity off of tearing other people down instead of working on yourself, okay? Earth signs, it's time to go heal. Bye.